So if I ever had audio issues before, hopefully it's going to sound a little better. I'm building my background studio filming area with all this soundproofing, sound deadening foam for a background. And then uh, it's going to be on the whole wall, this wall, all the way up, all the way down, and then maybe a wall in front just to stop the echo. Uh, tripods, I got two, I got another light like this. I'll have a desk, I'll do gear reviews and podcasts and more of those research type videos I do. And yeah, I got a whole mess here, but yeah, that's not what this video is about, but it's gonna be cool anyway. Hmm? Critter Hunter. Oh, what's going on, guys? Well, right now, I'm just putting together my new studio slash background. It's gonna look a little something like this, and I'll get to that in another video, but right now, I wanted to... Well, you remember last week when I challenged a few other channels to my Critter Challenge? What's good in uh, Bali? How about a nudie brink? Make it a cool nudie brink, because I know you got a lot. Find a cool nudie brink for me. <laughs> so if you, when you find one, send me the footage. Well, my friend Jerome from the channel Underwater Videographer got back to me, and it looks like he accepted. So let's check that out. Hi, Justin. So I went for the challenge today. And I found some nudie branch, so I hope you're gonna be happy with it. I hope you liked it, but now it's my turn. So Justin, I challenge you to go film some flamboyant octopus. I know you have many in Darwin and I want to see some. So it's your turn. All right, Jerome, you succeeded. You found a nudie break on my critter challenge. You found a lot. In fact, that red and white one at the end with the stripes, I've never seen that and that's really I mean, all of yours are really good footage, so... But yeah, I'm really impressed with that red and white one. Uh, so... You flipped it back on me, huh? I gotta find... You said flamboyant uh, octopus, but I think you meant flamboyant cuttlefish. And we do have those. It's not cephalopod season right now. Uh, <laughs> so it could be hard. Uh, in a couple months is octopus season, or cephalopod season, but... Well, challenge is a challenge, so I'm gonna go out every day and I accept if I find the flamboyant cuttlefish, then we'll see. <laughs> it's not gonna be easy, but I'm gonna go search every day and uh, hopefully I can find one. Right now, I think my studio is pretty much done. Uh, I need to get in the pool. So before I make the next challenge, or the next call out, I'm gonna get in the pool because it's super hot. But I got a new GoPro. Eight. My, uh, my GoPro 7. Oh, it's broke. It's like, they claim these are good until 
five meters without a housing and I took this one to like one or two meters and it just totally destroyed it. And I have a housing but what's really annoying is the how the old red filter is too small by like by like centimeters so close so I had to order some more of these uh, but I got some plans for this I'm gonna be doing some live reef videos like really long videos on the reef because you know I don't normally do the wide angle so I'll be setting this up and leaving it at some huge reef spots while I go do the macro stuff I usually do so I'm gonna set this up and I'll talk to you in a minute from the pool And now I'm using the GoPro. I hope I'm in the frame. It's kind of weird talking to a little camera where you can't see the screen. And I bet the audio is not better. But I'm not really going to be using this as a vlogging camera. Just playing right now. Like I said, I'll set it up on the reef and do some cool stuff. Anyways, thanks to Dro for finishing his critter challenge. Like I said, that was some awesome footage. You guys can go check out his channel because in a little while he's going to be posting his version of searching for the Looney Breaks, you know, the Critter Challenge. And I think he's going to challenge somebody else uh, just to keep it going. <laughs> so speaking of keeping it going, I think I got to do that too. So the next challenge, I got to call out my man James. James from Divers Ready, I'm challenging you to the Critter Challenge. Since you're in South Florida, you do a lot of wrecks, and you're not locked down anymore, I challenge you to find and film some bull sharks, or at least just one bull shark, and I'll be happy. So there you have it. Divers Ready, Critter Challenge, film a bull shark. <laughs> so, whoa, it just got really bright. Ugh. Freaking monsoon season in Philippines, you never know. It's like rains all night, then it's sunny in the day, and then it's uh it rains when it's sunny. Anyways, so divers ready, my man James. He's gonna find uh a bull shark. I haven't I haven't filmed that. I mean I did a bull shark dive years ago in Mexico, but I I, I don't know what I did with that footage. I wasn't on YouTube. Uh, so that'll be sweet. So there you have it. Thanks again, Jerome, underwater videographer on YouTube. Uh, looking forward to seeing your version of the Critter Challenge. And yeah, that's it. Uh, I got tons more plans for this channel. Like I said, got a new camera. Gonna do live reef videos. I'm just gonna set it up in front of an anemone or... Some stag core somewhere with a lot of reef fish so you guys can watch. It's stuff I don't normally film. Uh, I'll be setting it up there and while I go off diving, filming my regular stuff. Uh, that should be cool. Oh, I got another awesome video coming out tomorrow, so make sure to subscribe. I got a new macro lens. You guys saw my skeleton shrimp video where I was using a plus 10 macro lens trying to film those skeleton shrimp. Well, guess what? I got another plus 10. I'm going to be stacking them up with the plus 3. So technically, that's a magnification of plus 23. It's going to be insane if I can get it to focus. So in the next video, I'm definitely going to be reviewing, testing out these Ilon macro lenses. It's going to be, it's going to be fun. Uh, and then I also, I don't want to give it up. But I got some big plans of buying a critter. Let's just call it the Critter Getter. <laughs> I'm gonna, we're buying a, a sweet car. It's going to be the funniest thing we've ever seen. I'm setting it up all for scuba diving with gear racks in the back and hanging wet stuff. And it's going to be awesome. I'm going to be able to go down to the beach anytime I want. Go diving. Uh... Right now, uh, thanks to sponsors like Brian Davies Scuba, 
uh go follow him of course he's in the chat he's in the description below uh thanks to guys like him i'm uh i i can pay for guides and critter hunters to help find the stuff that i need to film uh but pretty soon hopefully it opens up even more and i can go down and dive on my own again so you guys gotta watch that i'm gonna be building the critter the ultimate scuba vehicle uh <laughs> it's it, it's not something you would ever drive in america it's freaking hilarious i'll I'll show you. No, I'm not even going to show you a sneak peek. It's going to be hilarious. Uh, but. Uh, so make sure to subscribe. And. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Yeah. Subscribe.